All right, for this work problem, uh, we're asked two questions actually. Uh, so we've got this beam, um, it's got point A over here. It is two meters long, and on the end, we've got two forces, FA, which is 100 newtons, and FB, which is 200 newtons, uh, kind of back at a 30 degree angle like this. So we're asked first, what is the moment that force A, this bottom force, exerts around point A, uh, the joint over here? Uh, and then second, we're asked, what is the moment that FB, this second force, exerts around point A? Uh, so we're going to do this in two steps. Uh, first, we're going to do uh, part, uh, the moment of force A. So with this, we've got point A over here. We've got a two meter long beam. And our force A is 100 newtons straight down like this. Um, so in this case, uh, we're going to <clears throat> basically know that our force A, or sorry, our moment about A, is going to be equal to the force times the perpendicular distance between point A and the point of application of this force. So we know that the distance uh, is equal to 2 meters. We know that the force is 100 newtons. So the MA is going to be 100 newtons times the distance of 2 meters. And that moment would cause a rotation clockwise about point A. So if we imagine this beam, it'd start rotating clockwise based on this force. Um, so the clockwise rotation, that's going to be a negative moment. So this whole thing gets a negative. So MA, the moment about A from force A, uh, is going to be equal to negative 200 newton meters. So there we go with the moment about A, and this is from force A. Now let's do the same thing except with force B. So again we have point A, and we're going to have a force over here of 200 newtons at a 30 degree angle. And so D is not going to be 2 meters this time. Uh, so it's important to remember this, is, this D is always going to be the perpendicular distance. So if I drew a triangle, so this is point A, um, this is, I'll call this B, this is point B out here. Uh, this would be 2 meters. Uh, but the force is going off at this 30 degree angle. And so the closest it's going to get is going to be when that is a right angle like this. So we've got a triangle like this, um, and <clears throat> we know that the hypotenuse is 2 meters. Uh, this is 30 degrees, so this is going to be 2 meters times the sine, because it's the opposite side. 30 degrees. All right, then we're going to do the same calculation we did over here. Uh, so MA, the moment about point A, is going to be equal to the force. So this is the force is going to be 200 newtons times the distance, and the distance is this 2 sine 30. units are going to be meters there. Uh, and this is going to cause a counterclockwise rotation. That's a positive moment, so it's the opposite of this. We have a, a, a no negative sign there. So MA, if you solve all this out, is going to be equal to positive 200 newton meters. And so that's exactly the opposite. So this two thing, these two things, if we had uh, say this is a cable, and this is the weight on the end of that arm. This thing would be in equilibrium because there are two equal and opposite moments here. So with that, we found the moment from force A. This is the moment 
from force B, and we've solved our problem. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.